All right, you're all welcome. We'll be looking at Jest today. Um, Jest is a testing framework which is um, very easy to use. And um, of course, there are many other type of testing frameworks like Jasmine, um, Mocha, and all the rest. But we'll be using Jest today. I'll be looking at how to um, really get started, set it up, and um, use it for ECMAS scripts. So let's begin. Um, so first thing, we'll create an empty folder. Let's name it anything. Thought. And then um, I'll open it with um, VS Code to so run the whole setup from there. Uh, so let me just open a new uh, new window. That should do. And then just drag this and drop in here. All right, great. So the first thing I want to do is to set up a project, and so. For us to set up a project, we'll do the npm init and add a y just to get it set up at once instead of going through the prompt. Then we'll, we'll do, we'll create the file index.js and then a second file index.tests.js like that. And then we want to um, install we install Jest and then set up the test script here. So for the test script here, you just need to change this to Jest, J-E-S-T, save it. And then for the installation, we will go to the website here, uh, jest.js.io and copy the installation command here. Then paste it inside of the terminal here, hit enter, and then it starts installing. Uh, it will be done in a minute. And the next step is what we've already done. Um, this part of putting the script here and then um, putting in test to equal just that's just it now when you just for test purpose um okay still installed okay should be done installing now just for test purpose um we could do a test and um inside of the test you you can set up um like a title or a name kind of a heading for it here so always begin with a title so basically the test here takes in two parameters. One is the description or the name of what you want it to do. So should um should add two numbers, something like that. And then inside of the function here, you put in what you want. So we could say we expect we expect um one plus one to be two. So stuff like that dot to be two. So just like that and then we save it then come down to the terminal here and then we do npm test like so hit enter and the test should run immediately now notice that it's telling us that one passed um one test out of one pass so which means um our setup is working and that is how easy it is to set up tests in a node.js application but how about if you have a function so if you have a function you set up here so let's set up a function, say const. Um, let's we we'll export this function. So export const. Um, let's give it a function like that. Function name. And um, maybe we'll get rid of this. Just do a default. Export default, give it a function name and say sum. And then we we expect that two parameters will be passed here. So num one and then num two will be passed in here. And then what we are expecting is the sum of um, those two numbers. So return num1 plus num2, like that. And that is it basically. Then we want to import it because we want to test if this stuff runs well. So um, we can get rid of this and then do the import. So uh, we are going to do const sum equal to require. And then we are requiring this from um index so we could just do something like this and this should work if you put it dot slash it, it this should also work all right great then let's now write a test for it so we're saying test now what is the title we um sorry we we want this test to sum to number so should sum up to numbers so stuff like that and then I want you to set up a function here like so now instead of this function, we will call this one. So we say we expect. Now the expect is just one of the basic um, 
uh, functions you can call in a text. So we expect some, some of what, say some of one and two, to be dot to be like so, to be three. So we expect that the sum should be three. So if this is not correct, it's going to fail. So let's run it again. So npm test run, it fails. So what's, um, what's the problem we are getting here? So let's check it out and see. Um, export default. Um, let's check it out. Now, um, the issue we are having here is on doing the exports and the whole import stuff, you know. Um, to, to understand what we are talking about, let's go back to the example we, we have here, all right? Now, in the example we have here, we did, they used a module.export, all right? Now, when you use a module.export, that's common JS, and it's going to work just fine. So if we use um, module.export this time around, it should work perfectly, all right? So that we're not using the, um, you know, normal ECMA script. So let's get rid of this, all right? And come down here and use a module.export. Like, so just exactly what um, we did here, we just copy this to, um, I'll just type it out and say equal to some, all right? Now, when we save this and um, try out the test again, it should run properly, you see? So how then do you do it if you want to use, um, say, ES, ES6 and upward, you know, ECMAX uh, script 2015 and all that. So what you need to do is to add some level of configuration. So what we've done is the basic and stuff you need to know but if you want to go a little further we need to do some configuration this will not take uh, so much so you just go down into the inside of the documentation down to the Babel part so you need Babel for this to work so you, all you need to do is copy this um, command here to install Babel and other presets like that so paste it inside of the terminal hit enter and it does the installation for us so while it do, does this installation for us we want to create a file here that is named babel.config Babel.config.js. Now, what we're doing is exactly what's inside of the documentation here. So if we just copy the code inside of here and paste it inside of um, the Babel uh, config file here, you know, save it. Um, you could also change this to um, ES6. So we could just convert it to ES6 module. Anyone works um, just fine. And then we want to also change the um, the kind of module or the type of uh, module we use here. So we, we do a type and say module instead of command the JS. So we're converting this to ES6 functionality. So with this, everything should be fine. And then we can go back to our code here and return it to the export that we use. So the export default, save it, and then come back inside of our file here. Now, instead of using the common JS here, which is a regular, we want to convert this back to um, ES6 module. So everything now is using the ES6 module. And so once you clear out the terminal and try off again, um, you don't necessarily, necessarily need to clear the terminal or clear the terminal. So npm run test. Um, so we are getting um, an error. So let's check it out and be sure what the problem is. Um, okay. So the dot presets. Let's be sure. All right, so I, give me a moment, Jason. Okay, so I, I guess I was, I didn't get that correctly. So all you need is just the presets, all right? So um, let's paste it in here, just the presets. And then we need to actually change this to Jason, not JS this time around. So let's rename this to Jason. So I think this is specific to um, Node.js, so format it properly and then clear, clear out the terminal. Then let's try try this again. NPM run test and this time around it passes. So um, just to be clear, you need to set up the presets like this inside of um, Node.js uh, so that you don't run into um, a bug. Um, so I think the um, this part of the documentation is mostly useful um, when you are using React or you know some of these other JavaScript um, libraries. But that is this is just how to set up um, um, test in your Node.js file or Node.js project um, using Jest. Um, I'll be putting this, um, you know, I'll putting this up in, on GitHub and all that. So please um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is it. Um, I'll see you in the next tutorial.